The Atomic Bomb. guys welcome back to another episode of quincy ball sports and today we have college football week five already week five picks and i did do the fan the polls for uh, notre dame virginia i forgot to do it for washington usc um 71 percent of you i think voted for notre dame sorry i forgot to do that this is kind of a not so good week but next week is probably going to be the most important week of the season besides last week. I mean, last week was amazing, but like uh, Florida, Auburn, Michigan, uh, Michigan, Iowa, Michigan State plays with Ohio State. Maybe mm, nah, I shouldn't be too optimistic. But and Oregon plays Cal. That's another one. So a lot of good games next week. This week, not that important. But um, there could be some upsets and stuff. But um, I do also want to say the MLB postseason is right around the corner. My Cubs were, I think they have to win out and the Brewers have to lose out. And I think the Brewers are like killing the Reds right now. So we're like this close to being mathematically eliminated. However, I will be coming out with lots of videos for the MLB postseason. I'm talking full game streams for probably both wildcard games. As many streams as I can, predictions, series previews, series recaps, game recaps, game previews, possibly. A lot of, a lot of good stuff coming for the MLB postseason. I like baseball and I've kind of been slacking on baseball content. But we will definitely make up for the entire season's worth of slacking with a wonderful, wonderful plethora of postseason videos that you guys, I'm sure, will enjoy. And another piece of good news, we hit 1,600 subscribers today. So that's pretty cool. Thank you guys for that. Channel's been growing a lot recently, so I thank you guys for that. But anyway, let's get into the picks. This will be kind of a quicker video. Penn State, Maryland. I will not be surprised if Maryland pulls off an upset. My upset pick last week actually ended up happening. It was Appalachian State over UNC. My upset special actually ended up happening. So that was pretty cool to see that. Um, Maryland will hold this game close, and I feel like if I, w I don't have a specific upset, but let's just say this is going to be my upset pick, although I don't think they'll win, I'm calling this as my upset pick, Maryland over Penn State, it'll be a close game, I'm taking Penn State on the board, but I think Maryland can win this game, trust me, I'm taking Penn, my official pick is Penn State, but my upset pick, like, of the week, like, most likely upset is Maryland. Arizona State and Cal, um, the Pac-12 really had a rough week last week. I mean, Utah went down, Washington State gave up a 32-point lead to UCLA. That was after I went to bed, damn Pac-12 playing at 1 a.m. That was insane. I saw the highlights on that. Washington State, I mean, when you score 63 points, that's not enough to win a game. I guess it's an 0-3 UCLA team. And Cal, people are saying, is their last shot to make the playoff. I don't think so. I think a one-loss Oregon or a one-loss Washington, a one-loss Pac-12 champion can make the playoff. Trust me. But they're like, I don't think Cal's going to run the table because y'all almost beat all Y'all almost lost to Ole Miss. I, where the guy caught it in the end zone and fell out of the end zone and they didn't rule him in and they didn't have time to review it. I don't think that's much as much of a bad call as people are making it out to be. Anyway, I think Cal will be at Arizona State at home. My Michigan State Spartans. Quick little thing. I've seen a lot of people ask me, what teams are you a fan of? Oh, you're a bandwagon. You're this. Okay. College. My uncle went to Michigan State. My grandpa put football, Tennessee, and my dad went to Louisville. So Michigan State, Tennessee, Louisville are my three colleges. Michigan State's probably my number one. Baseball, it's the Cubs. Football, it's the Bears. NFL football, it's the Bears. NHL, it's the Maple Leafs. Um, and then the NBA is the Bulls. I don't really follow the NBA that much because the Bulls suck. But anyway, I just wanted to clear that up. I think Michigan State gets a win at home. They, I saw, I went to the Northwestern game last week. I have a vlog you can check out. Um, Michigan State's newly ranked. I think they'll get that win. Texas Tech and Oklahoma, I think Jalen Hurts and company take care of business there. Michigan got embarrassed, embarrassed 
by Wisconsin. Jonathan Taylor rushing for like 300 yards. It was just awful, awful performance by Michigan. I, You guys, people take Michigan to, they, they think Michigan's a serious contender each year, and they're not. They always just get overhyped. And Wisconsin just made examples of them, and they dropped from 11 all the way down to 20. Not, not good. Warning, red, enormous red flag should have been flashing when they lost, when they almost lost to Army. Just saying. I think we'll beat Rutgers, though, because Rutgers is pretty bad. Mississippi State and Auburn, this will be a close game. Mississippi State likes to hold teams like Bama and all of them. They like to hold them close. I think this will be a close game. I think Auburn eventually pulls away late. They have Florida next week. Maybe this could be a trap game because Florida definitely doesn't have a trap game against Towson. Could build a bakery with that schedule. But Clemson and UNC, I think Clemson rolls. My upset special last week was App State over UNC. And App State won. Sorry, Heels fans. Oka Luke in particular. Um, the it's just when will Clemson put the backups in? Same thing with Alabama, Ole Miss, Ole Miss, it, Ole Miss is terrible. They are they are awful. I mean, they are the third worst team in the SEC. Second worst is Tennessee. The worst is Arkansas. Oh my God! How do you lose? Do San Jose State at home? I think could say the same thing about Tennessee. Georgia State would wipe the floor with San Jose State. State, trust me, that is just pitiful. Um, Wisconsin, newly ranked, we already went over that they molly whopped Michigan. They are gonna have a legit chance to to get in the playoff. They have some, they do have some tough games. They play at Ohio State. They play Michigan State at home. I mean, that's on my birthday, and I might, I don't, I don't know. There's a possibility I could go to that game, but it's probably not gonna happen. I think Wisconsin gets the win against Northwestern. This would have been a featured game if Nebraska didn't just lay the biggest egg to start the year. Oh my goodness. I was so excited for this game. I thought Nebraska was going to upset them. It's going to be the featured game of the week. In my Big Ten preview for the conference, I had Nebraska winning. I think this game will be closer than a lot of people think. I do think Ohio State gets the win, but it will be cl it will be close. UCF, UConn will take UCF. They lost to Pitt. There goes their playoff chances for the next, like, decade. That's kind of sad. And then Towson and Florida. My friend Tyler is a huge Florida fan, and he always makes fun of Georgia. He goes, oh, Georgia don't play anyone. Oh, Murray State, Arkansas State. And then they play Notre Dame. He's like, he's like oh, you can build a bakery with their schedule. And, and they play Towson. I think. My friend Tyler, who's a Gators fan, he should have to do a punishment if if Towson wins. Now, Towson isn't going to win, but let me know of a punishment he should have to do if Towson wins. Best one, we'll do if Towson wins, but they're not going to win. I wrote 63-2. to two. I think I meant to write 63-2. Oh, I wrote 63-2. to two. I think I meant to write 63-3, to three, but let's say Towson's only points were... Or a safety. Anyway, let's get to featured games. Washington and USC. This is a big game for the Pac-12. A very good USC team against Washington. That is also really good at home for Washington. I think they have a huge advantage there. I think, and people are going to disagree with this, a one-loss Washington or a one-loss Oregon conference champion will make the playoff. Even a one-loss Cal can make the playoff. Trust me. Like, they would definitely be deserving. Now, is the college football playoff the four best teams or the four most deserving teams? It's the four most deserving teams. Any of you people who say, well, this team on paper is just way better. No, it's the four most deserving teams. Get it right. But, like, okay, let's say Alabama loses, like, three games. And Cal loses one. But we know Bama would what? Wipe the floor with Cal. You can't give it to Bama. You have to give it to the team that's most deserving. Mini ranch over. USC, I think, is going to walk in there with an attitude. I think they are confident after beating Utah. But I think Washington at home gets this win. This is going to be a very good game. Final score prediction for me. Washington wins, wins it on a game-winning field goal, 31-28. to This is going to be a very good game. Now, to all you Notre Dame fans out there. 
I would be disgusted if I was a Notre Dame fan. You know, people in college football actually get hurt. Like, football is not just, it's not like t tennis or something where, like, you, oh, tennis isn't the right sport. It's not like golf where you can't get hurt. And you've got players, but my, my favorite one was Notre Dame player running back to the line, bumps into Jacob Eason. Oh, I mean, Jake Fromm, my bad, wrong Georgia quarterback. Oh, coach, oh, coach, my knee. Oh, yep, yeah, I'm done. Let's take some time to rest. Oh, no. Oh, no, whatever will I do. That is just disgusting. I would be, if I was a Notre Dame fan, I would call that out. That is shameful. That is absolute. that is pathetic and sad. And now, they have a very good Virginia team coming to South Bend. Uh, that makes me mad. I'm sorry about that. Virginia struggled with Old Dominion. I don't like that. I mean... That's not no bueno, but they did they did escape with a win. They kind of struggled against Florida State, but I don't like Notre Dame this season. I I feel like if Virginia plays their cards right, if they prepare well, Notre Dame will completely look over them. Quick question, open question: Does a one loss Notre? Okay, I guess two questions. Will a one-loss Notre Dame team make the playoff? Question one. Question two. Do you think a one-loss Notre Dame would be deserving to get in the playoff? I'm going to say no for both. you got to win your conference to make the playoff. If you don't win a conference championship, you don't belong in the playoff. Join, join a conference. I know you all got a million excuses on why you're not in a conference. Oh, no one wants to. Shut up. I, um... My gut's telling me to go with Virginia. I don't know why. I feel like Notre Dame's just going to overlook them. And that's what I'm going to go with. I think Virginia wins an ugly game on the road. That's my gut feeling here. A lot of people are going to disagree with me. The vote was swayed heavily in Notre Dame's favor. Something's calling to me about Virginia. I think they're going to be a solid team. Y'all remember that one year where Wolf Fuller caught that kick? Caught the pass in like the back of the end zone to end that game at Virginia. They're gonna remember that. I think. No, I think Virginia comes in here with an attitude. And they have a great defensive performance and win this game. Notre Dame really didn't play that well against Georgia. If you looked at it, the, one of their touchdowns was off a muffed punt that they recovered at the eight yard line. So an eight yard drive. Other than that, and then they had that garbage time touchdown when Georgia was kind of letting their foot foot off the gas. They really didn't play that well against Georgia. The score could have been a lot wider. I think, I don't know. I feel bad about this, but I think Virginia's going to get this win. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, baseball videos coming out soon. Um, now that my Cubs are eliminated, I don't know if you guys, I forgot to mention this is my, my teams, but I'm kind of an A's fan. I've been, I, I've always liked the A's as like a second team. Um, my, my friends like to use this term all the time. I'm an A's supporter. That That's the term. My Getting back to Tally, he's like, oh, I'm a Duke supporter. I'm a Purdue supporter. I'm not a fan, but I'm just a supporter. I'm an A's supporter, guys, okay? I, I've had the hiccups all video. This is going to make me mad. All right. I'll uh, see you guys.